Hey guys, this is the single sided bicycle crunch. I'll show it to you, then I'll coach you through it. So, for the single sided bicycle crunch, I want to think of this as just a crunch with a twist and some hip flexion. So, I'm going to sit, get set up, right foot flat on the floor. Make sure my pelvis is equal and even, so I'm not leaning to one side or the other. Nice long spine position. I'll keep my left hand out on the floor, left leg straight with some tension in it. Right hand behind the head for a little bit of neck support. All right. As I come up, I'm gonna think of pulling my armpit and rib cage from the right, down and across to the left. At the same time, I'm thinking of pulling my hip into flexion and reverse crunching on that right side. So kind of pulling into a slight posterior pelvic tilt. As I come up, I exhale and control down. As I come up, I don't wanna feel my pelvis shift to either side. This leg that stays stationary is doing a lot of work to stabilize. Nice slow and controlled movements. Switch sides. Make sure you do both sides here. For this leg that's going straight, to make this easier, you can bring the leg up a little bit higher. Then it won't weigh as much. All right, feel free to also rest it down on the floor in between reps if you need to. And the hardest way would be keep tension in it and hover it right above the floor when you're here. That is the single-sided bicycle crunch.